One of the problems with the small Kindle is that if you have the two column article as this one, the best you can do in Kindle's PDF reader is actually to increase the zoom level and then start reading the leftmost column by scrolling down. This seems okay, but when you want to go to the next column you have to somehow position yourself and then the... It's actually very hard and I never actually managed to do it. But fortunately we have the alternative PDF Kindle Reader based on new PDF library and under GPLv3 license in which you, we can select the same document even searching for the partial file name of the document and then it will open normally and here we have the keyboard shortcuts for the zoom in which we can zoom to the arbitrary level but we also have several predefined layouts and the new one and the reason for this video is actually this one which is especially designed for two column layout like this one as you can see you see the top of the first column and as you scroll down it will move one screen size at the for each press down and when you go to the bottom of the column you just press right and it will automatically position you on the top of the right column and then as you go down and get to the end of the page you press right and it will position you to the top of the next column as you can see it's cropping the PDF a little bit but you can fix that just by pressing F again which will recenter the content on the page this is usually because the first page usually has the title up there and as you can see the margin is larger here than here so you sometimes on the second page you have to fix that manually and you can scroll down and get to the back uh, to the bottom of the first column and just continue reading is, as is as you can see this column actually is a continuation of the previous one if you and if you press just left as I just did it will position you to the bottom of the previous column which is nice if you want to read back content scanning for something as in this example 